Hey, welcome back to the Moto Bomb Virginia channel. Yeah, in this video, we'll start out uh, and I'll show you the difference of what those little GoPros go through when they're on your Harley Davidson or many, any other type of motorcycle that might vibrate a little bit. These things are going all over the place. And when you're going down the road, it's amazing what stabilization will do. Check it out. See what you think. I think it's a big difference. Thanks for coming by. Peace. So yeah, here's how they look. Watch how nice they'll look when I'm going down the road. Get through to you, motor bound bound cross town traffic, huh? No extra charge for the uh, custom tunes and and singing. It was live. Usually you got to pay a cover charge when you go to an establishment to get live live music. So yeah. Remember that, you're getting that free today. And you think of the weirdest things when you're riding down the road to be, uh, be yourself. Comical or sarcastic or whatever it is. Is sarcastic a bad thing? Tell me. Because I either grew up with sarcasm or I compensated uh, my issues with sarcasm. I mean, it's self-entertainment, really. Isn't that what sarcasm is? And you're hoping the other person gets it. You take a risk, and you hope the other person gets it. Because if they don't, you try to explain yourself, and you end up making yourself look like a you know, and really try not to cuss on here. Uh, whether that's a, a noble thing, or a uh, courtesy thing, or a, a God thing. I don't know, I don't think God, uh, if you believe in God, the Almighty, I don't think he judges you for I think he already judged you the way he's judged you by right going to the cross and dying for your sins and and giving you uh, grace and mercy so if you don't take that grace and mercy yeah you suffer you suffer here on on earth you suffer with issues you suffer with uh, people not taking your sarcasm correctly right and they're gonna correct you and then you gotta think about hmm am I gonna be offended about that am I gonna attack am I gonna go back you know those are all the uh, evil crazy things and that all happens right up here in the uh, El Mindo that's why getting the old El brainwashed from my old thinking and tools and values and things I was learned and taught from way back in the day that caused me uh, pain there was assets too believe me I took the inventory, you know, got to keep taking some of the inventory, depending on how much freedom you want to get. And uh, you take a look at that stuff, revamp and rethink and, and you know, give it over to God and you apply spiritual principles in the place so you don't have lies and untruth to deal with, uh, revenge, what else is there? There's like resentments. Oh yeah, the, the deadly three, right? Resentments, anger, and fear. You, you, play, you replace that with love and forgiveness. And uh, something else I forgot right now. But yeah, faith, that's it. Fear, you replace fear with faith. 
you're not gonna worry. I was a chronic worrier. I worried about everything. Well, I was doing so many things uh, bad and against my grain and my inside soul, and I knew it, and I knew I was denying a lot of it and trying to cover it up and lie and manipulate about it to myself and to others, you know, for love and acceptance in my life. And sometimes I go, oh, hey, maybe you could use that for some personal gain, you know? You don't know. You see other people doing it. You go, well, it's got to be normal. We got to do that. It's a competition. And uh, you're trying things out. Yeah, as a younger gentleman, you know, you, you really wanted to uh, uh, succeed somehow and have a good time and have some fun while you're doing it. That was me. I wanted to party my ass off hang out with the cool crowd the super cool cats they knew they understood that's what I wanted so that's what I hung out with and I uh, got taught that kind of thinking and manipulation and uh, denial system over and over and over again so I could complain about others and not have to hold myself responsible for my own actions and how I perceived you, the world, uh, those angers, fears, and resentments, you know, how did I deal with those? So yeah, here in this section, I'm just talking about how it was, what it was like before, you know, I had some changed thinking and grew up just a little bit. Enjoy these little segments, they helped me. In a healthy way, or I try to numb them. You can numb them with uh, buying a bunch of shit, <laughs> being extra nice to people. You can do that so you can feel good. You can uh, do it through drugs and alcohol, treating it. And then none of those things are like a, a bad thing to do to yourself. Like if you're doing that, as long as you're right. Not trying to fill the void and depend and demand that those things is what's giving you the happiness. When you don't have, you have to learn as well to be content and to be happy with right where you're at. You know, feel your neck, put the two fingers up there, see if you see a pulse or feel a pulse. If you're feeling a pulse, you should be having a good day. That's right. Road reality guy got something for that, a hundred percent track record of having a good day. He's he's a pretty positive dude. Uh, he brings a little joy and happiness to other people's lives who like uh, motorcycle content. Uh, he puts it out there. So does the happy hooligan. I love the happy hooligan. We don't want to call him the happy hooligan. He probably yeah no be like what the heck was that dude yeah well you know kind of sounds a little funky but happy hooligan when there are hooligans or whatever was that on mash or something i don't think i'm gonna get in we'll try to get in up here can i get in wave and say thank you when people are polite let you get in these madhouses up here yeah so anyway yeah hooligan brings a lot of energy to uh, a good good chunk of his videos sometimes you know he's like me you got to be quiet you got to focus you're rethinking some of your thoughts and uh, sometimes you got to know hey, make sure you know how you're riding and where you're going like right now I am surrounded wow did you just see that shit what the fuck was that motherfucker Jesus so yeah just as I was talking about it real freaking asshole now that's just stuff that man right there you know you want to talk about your growing as a human being and your maturity and there ain't shit I could do about that back there. But you see how it affected me? It had me saying every every word that I'd learned what to say 
when somebody else deserves a good verbal beatdown, he just about ran me over. My instincts tell me, go around that mofo and uh, give him some verbal gestures or whatever, but my luck, he'd get out of the vehicle and be about nine sizes bigger than me and, you know, whoop my ass out here on the road, so. Yeah, that's what stops me sometimes. Otherwise, because if I was King Kong and had a super, super huge ego, there he goes. Y'all make sure it's safe to cross over now. Like, it's okay. Run me off the road. See, it'll take me a while to calm down. Have to lose that resentment. That's the stuff out here that uh, if you let it get to you too much, traffic will uh, detour you. That's why a lot of times when I get home from this madhouse of traffic, I'm ready just to, to stay in the house and not even enjoy my bike and get out and ride. Just getting out to the country area of where I live, it takes a while and you got to have the time and the want to and I just ain't had that lately. That's why sometimes, I, you know, I gave it for a two week break. A two week break of not riding, I rode my uh, vehicle every day and that was after VAM. I had all that nice riding. I wanted to savor that I think. Not lose the uh, the love of what I just done by coming to the uh, the concrete jungle. Welcome to the jungle. It gets worse here every day. Yeah I get treated like an animal or something but that's the price you pay. Hey Gonna zip it through the tunnel. All right, zip it. You don't, you can't even zip it. Zip. Look, all ladies I'm... and gentlemen of the jury, exhibit A. When a problem comes along, you must zip it. Zip it good. Zip it. Zippy long stockings. Got a whole bag of shh shh for you, Scotty Do. I'm just trying zip. to zip. Would you like to have a suckle of my zipper? I want zip. you. Stop. Are you? Zip it. This is oh, you know what? You're like a child. Talking if you just one time. You got to zip it. Zip it good. You know when you just can't stop? <laughs> you remember that with Austin Powers? He did the zip it and the the shh, the whole bag of shit. And then the mole. He just couldn't stop himself from making fun of the mole and gold member. Blinded by the light, whoo! Rack up like a douche, you know the rumor. And then I always thought he said douche. Didn't know what a douche was. And then you learn what a douche was. You're like, I can't be right. And while I was in the quiet part of the tunnel, I was thinking like, wow, how I let go of that situation already. And then, uh, like, what do you say to somebody like that? It's like you go knock his mirror off his frickin' truck, you know, act like a big baby. Well, what if he'd have ran over me and squashed me? And I'm thinking like, okay, I got kids. Uh, they don't depend on me so much no more. I got grandbabies, you know, you made good memories with. And that they love you a lot and it affects a lot of people. And it, it steals your life away for actions like that. So when it, you get close calls, you kind of want to, uh, I know when I got big whoopings and, and consequences and shit, I kind of changed uh, my actions. And I remembered it for a long time. I think that's why some ass whoopings when I was younger gave me a little respect of that. Hey, if you do A, you'll get B, and it won't be a happy time. And that's like what I want to do to that dude. That's what goes through my brain anyway when I got a little quiet time. It'll go away. I won't even remember it at some point, but when you get uh, 500 of those things happen, when you're out here on the road. Yeah, that's what makes you a little uh, ugly on milder situations. 
where you can give more uh, love, patience, and tolerance, forgiveness, uh, because we all want that. But to to receive it, you, it, I believe you always have to give it. I mean, sometimes you get it, uh, and you didn't work for it or deserve it, because our works don't do a damn thing really for us. It might make you feel better or whatever about yourself, and just can't hold it up against somebody else and measure them with it, like you're comparing your. Uh, how much greater you are at doing those things than somebody else. Nobody would do horrible things to other people if they knew those horrible things were really being done to themselves. That's who gets hurt the worst. So, yeah, I'll pray for that guy. See how, like, the thinking comes around and I start mellowing out and a sudden impact is over. Sometimes they go, oh, sorry, it's too late. Well, it is if you take a drastic action, like, people who kill others and do real drastic things and hit or get violent are some super scarring words words that scar man yeah those are something to build up your your repertoire your full armor because that's uh, really what they're doing to themselves not to you but if you take offense to that and make it a reality then yeah, that will scar you. Well, that was the sermon for the day. Uh, things to think about, things to uh, either f free yourself from, hold yourself accountable, know it's you, because through you, through the gift that the Almighty gives you, you can, ha you can have that better day and swim through this life with Victoria. Yeah. Truth and mindset. Dress clippings. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, they're pretty close to the curb. Not like I'm going to slip and fall on them. Maybe if I was doing 900 miles an hour and riding crazy, they could become an issue. Yeah. It was going to go, but they didn't know very cool I could have slowed up and let him go too but it worked out the other way I wore my uh, my racing boots look at this we got a puller outer here that was nice yeah hey people gotta get out you see them coming that's why it's 25 mile an hour be slow I wanted to be pissy, but I switched it around. Whew. Give the worker a howdy and a nod. I don't know about you, but I got warm riding to work. It's not, not killer out here. It's a pretty decent day. Yeah, I got no heel on these boots, so it's extra hard. Get that kickstand. Okay. Hey, everybody's cool. Yeah, the big old long line is ahead. Go slow, go slow, Dean. Go slow, go slow, Dean. That's the boogie woogie. Y'all good? What's going on, man? Lost the clutch cable. You know, I did a video on that. It happened to me right in the middle of some. As the lights had to turn just right. I was like, thank God I got. It. I was on an R1 too. <laughs> God, that sucks, man. Where to bust at the down? Yeah, that's it's, it's fine down there. So I noticed it spraying. Yeah. Uh, and then just I was hoping it asked till I got home, but it broke right down the interstate. I've seen people take the old vice grips, you know, and grab what little bit. And yeah. have you seen that? That's like, man. Well, I was stuck in first. You got somebody coming to rescue you? Yeah, my brother's bringing his parts cable for. Uh, uh, oh, and try to try to maybe finagle it. 
Yeah. So we've got a six on the, this is a nine How far you got to home? Uh, up in Hampton. Hey, that's where I am, at Fox Hill. Okay. I'm Dean, by the way, man. Yeah, sh what is it? Cameron? Yeah. Hey, if you ever see uh, find uh, see the motorbomb Virginia, mm -hmm. I don't know if you do YouTube, man, but I'm I'm on there. If you can link up and say hi, man, let me know how things come out, you know. But uh, good to see you again. Hope you, yeah, hope everything works out good for you, brother. You Absolutely, man. <laughs> to the jungle. <laughs> Yeah, kind of good to stop and check on people, man. Make sure they're okay and they're going to be okay. At this pace, you could just about walk home. Yeah, so I just did a, uh, you know, three, four, four hour live. And, uh, and that guy back there got a broken uh, a clutch, man. He was stranded. He probably felt helpless for a few minutes to know what was going to do, what was going I mean, that's how I felt. So just stop by the wave, say hi, you doing okay, man, uh, whatever, even if you didn't have no way to help, you're there to comfort with some words. And if he, if, I mean, if he would have needed help, I got a truck and a trailer. It would have took me forever to get to him, as you can see this traffic, because he's come, going to the same place I am, Hampton. The only way to get there, to get to the peninsula, is crossing this water, going through the tunnel. And it's uh, almost 5 o'clock, so, you know, traffic's extra heavy. It's the middle of summer and uh, construction. So, but anyway, I'm talking about using the old vice grip, pinching it on and using that to pull your... Uh, Pull your clutch in, clutch cable, and get a shift in to at least get you to home. This is where he's going, is, is this way. And you could have just took the shoulder most of the way. I'm sure a cop wouldn't have been too terrible on him. So he didn't have to start and stop with all that, uh, and trying to clutch, you know. Uh, yeah, the only hard part is getting uh, through this tunnel is dangerous because your clutch mess up or mechanically uh, have mechanical problems inside the tunnel it's just much more dangerous I would think because it's harder for people to pull off or pull over or slam on brakes and stop without a 900 car pile up you know people may be more aware than I think but it wouldn't take much look at the scully a skeleton is flying. Richmond, Virginia, that's what your RVA is. It's about uh, 60 miles from here, probably. You got brake lights on, and this guy continues to get on his butt. That, see, that's where I worry about, like, if you stalled down here, and somebody's gonna run into you. Except for the trucker now, the trucker back there is doing an awesome job. He keeps uh, a nice space cushion. That is a professional uh, driver. Yep. Wonder if he knows I'm talking about him. If I see him and get close enough, I'm going to wave. I wave to him flat better he might be one of our peeps on the community you never know now the other side is uh, cluttered up they need the traffic plumber over there that's moving a little bit but nothing of any great speed okay merge on in we got somebody coming at the same time you are what do you do go in front of them Yep, give him a wave and a nod. Um, thank you for, for letting you in. Oklahoma is the place to be. 
I'm thinking of like an old petticoat junction type one or green acres is the place to be that's it see it, uh, traffic for a long ways up on the freeway and right here all along through here poor guy trying to make his way through on the old uh, road glide I want a road glide I'd like a gold wing. I don't like anything. I like what I got. Yeah, I think I'll go home, make a small cup of rice. How's that sound? Some bacon, some eggs. Call it a wrap. That's a good meal. That's all I've had today. I have not ate. Whew. Thank you. He let me over, no problem. That was awesome. A little smoke on the water over there. I smell smoke too. Hopefully it's just a somebody put a little heavy on the barbecue. Whew. Just a little heavy on the barbecue, man. Waiting on darkness. Nice smooth ride home, if you don't mind uh, slow traffic, at least it wasn't chaotic, it was pretty good. Hey, he got his hands full, he can't wave, he can't wave. Let her cool off as fast as she can. You know we're doing videos all the time so you're getting the extra one here, you know, the uh, behind the scener ones. <laughs> Man, just got home. I'm not sure I, I know about, I have heard that name, but anyway, what's up with that? Okay, we had to, uh, we had to message Key Fob. Key Fob messages you, you're somebody in this world, I'm telling you. I hope that doesn't sound mean sarcastic because I meant that as fun and love and having a good time. I'm glad he, he gave me a shout and uh, I might learn something or hear something I need to hear. So anyway, Keith Hobb, shout out to you at the end of the vid if I end up using this, man. Love you, brother. That concludes this motobomb video. Man, I appreciate anybody who took a little bit of time just to check out the video. Even if you watched a little bit of it, partial, whatever. If you feel like it, hit the like button, subscribe. Really doesn't matter. But I do appreciate you and hope you come back to enjoy another Motorbomb Virginia channel. Peace out. Y'all come back now, yeah.